Hey everybody, <clears throat> welcome to another review. Uh, tonight I want to show you guys a program that right now is in beta. It's called Komodo Programs Manager. And what this is, it's um, it's kind of like an advanced uninstaller. Um, something that can help you remove programs completely, 100%. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, right now it's still in beta, so they're still working out some glitches, so I don't know if we're going to run into any uh, or not. So this is what it looks like. This is, of course, the new interface uh, from the Komodo programs that are going to be coming out. What you see is you have program. You have a little summary tab here. You have programs, drivers and services, Windows features, and updates. Um, they, I think they're still working on this part because I know there's still some updates that this computer doesn't have. But anyway. If you go to the Programs tab, you can see these programs that are installed right now on the computer. Uh, I'll tell you what SysTracer is later. Um, when it says Monitored, no. It means that these programs were installed before uh, the Programs Manager was installed. So it can't do a complete uninstall. So if you click on the program here, you can see you get a little panel that opens up. And it gives you some information about the program, when it was installed. Um, you know the URL you can do a regular uninstall you can change the program uh, if it's got a repair function you can do a repair um, so it kind of gives you some about you know some info about that um, the nice thing that I also like here is it's got a drivers and services tab so let's say you have a driver that you want to get rid of if you click on it you can do an uninstall right there so you don't have to kind of hunt around for it and another thing is services. Um, services are sometimes you get leftover things that happen uh, when you uninstall a program and they get kind of get left over and you have to go through the command prompt and all that. You can go right here and just uninstall the service right through this program. So that's kind of nice. It also has on every tab you see a restore system and a restore backup. Um, if you have Komodo Time Machine installed you can do this. So you can create it so it creates an automatic uh, snapshot point before you do any changes to the system um, and you can create uh, backups too uh, let's see what else you have uh, a tab here where you can turn Windows features on and off so that's much easier than hunting around for different parts of Windows where you can turn things on and off or you can do it right from here and then you have a Windows update tab where you can see your installed updates and available updates. Uh, like I said, I still think they're working on this. Okay, so let me show you how this program works. I'm going to exit out here. So you see I got nothing running in uh, in the tab, in the uh, task manager, but we do have uh, something running in the uh, in services, basically. which is right there, Computers Program Manager Service. This Komodo Usage Report Service, this is a, a new part of Komodo that they're adding in. Um, they're gonna, from what I know, it's being used to not only see how you use the user interface and you know improvements that they can make to the program, uh, it's also gonna be in the future implemented to bring in new updates uh, and different things. So this is kind of a cool thing. So if something isn't being used like you know, like they intended, or people are having problems with something, they can easily see where the problem is and fix it in new releases instead of waiting for people to report it. So you can see that we do have a service running in the background. So I'm going to go online. I'm just going to grab something like um, C Cleaner, something simple, and I'll show you how it installs. But <clears throat> excuse me. Before we do that, I want to show you this Sys Tracer. This is a program that I use. Uh, when I'm analyzing different things in Windows and whatnot. And um, what it does is it basically lets me take a complete snapshot of the system. I have a couple snapshots already because I've kind of been messing with the program before. What it does is it looks at the registry, the files, applications, um, and completely records everything in the computer um, when you take that snapshot. So you can see changes. Uh, snapshot 1 was a clean computer. Snapshot 2 is after installed Komodo Program Manager. 
and it lets you compare between them. So let's go let's go to file hippo and there's CCleaner. So we're going to download the newest version. And we're going to install it. Now I already have a snapshot before this was installed. And I'm going to take a snapshot after I install CCleaner. And then we're going to remove CCleaner using Komodo Programs Manager and take another snapshot and compare to see if there's any leftover files between um, the installation of CCleaner and having Komodo Programs Manager removing it. Now, from what I, this is the first time I'm doing this, so I don't know if there is going to be or isn't going to be. But what I've what I've been told is that it removes everything as long as it's installed before you install the program. We're just going to install everything. Okay, so I had a little interruption there. Okay, so CCleaner is installed. So I'm going to take a snapshot. And I'll be back when this is done. It takes a little bit. Okay, so the snapshot is done. Now I'm going to open up Komodo Programs Manager and we're going to un uninstall uh, CCleaner and I think Yahoo Toolbar because uh, I didn't unselect that so that's installed too. So you can go to uninstall, you uninstall, and you can do a standard uninstall, which is just using the built-in, or you can do a Komodo uninstall, which is what I'm going to do. And it finds the files and registry keys that were created, and set, and different things that were changed. And we're going to continue here, and it's going to do that. And that's gone. And we're going to uninstall that. We're going to continue. Okay, so some of these files can be deleted, so they ask me to reboot. So I'm going to reboot, and then I'm going to do another snapshot, and I'm going to be back when I compare them because I'm running low on time here. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so I created a snapshot. Now, what we're going to see is this also not only shows what was created, and um, it also shows you registry keys that were changed and registry keys that were deleted. So if we click here, we can see all the registry keys that have been deleted from the original one before we uninstalled it. So you can see all the different uh, plugins for uh, the toolbar. Uh, you can see all the different basically registry uh, settings that have been changed. Now, the important thing what we're looking for here is anything that doesn't have a red X, that means that it would be left over. If it's got a red X and it's red like that, it means it was su successfully deleted. Okay, so this is uh, some things we got here. Let me see, what are these associated with? Okay, these aren't associated with... Um, these are just different parts of Windows, actually. Setting. <clears throat> settings. So you got different things here. These are all Microsoft stuff. Okay, let's see here. That's gone. Okay, but you can kind of see that um, all these things are, you can see, C cleaner Yahoo. It just gets rid of everything. And uh, I went through this list earlier, which I can't do now because it takes forever. And it did get rid of everything. So um, that's it on Komodo Programs Manager. I'm out of time. Uh, everybody take care and hope you enjoy the review. Have a good day.